Hi guys and welcome to part two of my Valentine series and today we're going to do a boys Valentine and I'm going to use this Pizza My Heart stamp set by Lawn Fawn. I'm using two different kinds of watercolor cardstock. This is Craft Companion one, it has texture on both sides and this is the Ranger one which has texture on one side and is smooth on the other. And the smooth paper I'm going to use for some stamping but first we're going to make a background heart. So first I'm going to color a piece of it and I'm, then I'm going to die cut it. And I am using Weathered Wood, Stormy Sky, Hickory Smoke and Ground Espresso to do this. And there's Artist Brushes by Ranger. I'm going to use this um, stamp uh, acrylic block as my palette. So I am starting by scrunching up some of the colors onto that little um, palette to be able to play around with it. Um, this card is, as I said, a little bit more boyish. It's more muted. It's not that cuddly, cute, pink kind of love card, st card but uh, I kind of like how it turned out. And, and I like having a big mixture of cards in my stash. So I then spray that with some water. You can use whatever spray you have as long as it has a kind of a misty spray and that doesn't spray a lot. Um, that was from Luminous and what is actually for my H2O colors. Then I am using weathered wood to kind of make this scribbly and then I uh, started doing droplets in the blue which because of the weathered wood not being dry didn't become droplets they just spread out. I kind of like the end result anyway but I did go over with my heat tool and dried it all and did new droplets. Now I use the uh, Stormy Sky, Hickory Smoke and Ground Espresso and then I just take the whole thing and I put it away to dry. So now for the coloring of the little pizza that I'm going to use. So start by stamping it in Versa Fine Onyx Black. This is one of the best um, sentiment, black sentiment inks that I ever had, but also it works great with watercoloring, any kind of watercoloring, which I really, really love. So uh, it's good to have a stamp that can be used for numerous of things. So to begin with, I'm going to play around with the crust. I'm using scattered straw and walnut stain in the beginning. Uh, the scattered straw kind of for the base color and then the walnut stain to give it some the feeling of it being a little bit burnt because then you get a little bit dimension and it feels a little bit more natural. After I have gone through that I'm adding some more colors. I'm adding the mustard seed and it's actually the brushed corduroy I have for the um, crust. It's for the cheese I'm using the scattered straw. But first I went over with the mustard seed and it the cheese became way too yellow so I kind of muted it down with the scattered straw. Then I'm adding some barn door to look like tomato and I should really first of all have dried the kind of cheesy part before adding the tomatoes because it's just spread into the cheesy part and yeah it probably would have turned out much better any <laughs> if I haven't done it this way and also by trying to layering while it was wet I made the paper pill a bit but hey I in the end got it to look like I wanted I added some uh, walnut stain some uh, espresso ground espresso and barn, barn door to the uh, color to add it as the tomato and then um, just adding on more and more color in the little here I'm trying to spread the out so it looks like it has kind of bubbled, the cheese have bubbled and gotten brown in spaces. Uh, and to finish it off I'm going to use some of those uh, stamps that are for garnish. So I'm using first a little uh, pepper stamp, you can do it in green or red. I use red because I'm trying to make a pizza that my boyfriend usually eats. Uh, and then I use some red tomatoes. Uh, and then I'm going to make some meat. Uh, tried out one color but decided to go with the brushed corduroy in the end for the small meat parts. 
and the absolute last part of it all were making olives and I picked up the wrong stamp first so I'm using a the proper stamp inside the other circles and it kind of turned out right anyway and then I just carefully cut out the little pizza and now for the sentiment the sentiment is olive you and I stamped it in walnut uh, lawn fawn ink and I'm using this uh, little flag die from the Tag Builder 5 from my favorite stamps. I really like my Tag Builder uh, die set because it, it has so many dies that you can use for so many cards. Then I'm making another teeny tiny uh, little palette because I want to make some of those droplets onto that uh, flag because it kind of stood out a little bit too much from the pizza and heart. Uh, this is when I actually realized that the walnut stain isn't uh, waterproof. At least not, yeah, at least not how I've used it. Maybe if I had heat set it first, I don't know, but it doesn't seem to be um, waterproof. But it didn't mind because I kind of like that it actually sp splashed the words a little bit. Then I make the card base, which is a 3x3 three three card base, and I used the watercolor cardstock that I used for the heart. So I cut it to 6x3 inches and then scored it at 3 inches. And then I put my little topper on. I just use the Craft Companion tape to add the pizza to the heart. And then I'm going to use some 3M Scotch foam tape first uh, on the back of that little flag. Uh, to be able to get it a little bit dimensional on top of that pizza and heart make it stand out a little bit and then I added the same foam tape uh, on the back side of the whole topper so that it would stand out a little bit on the watercolor cardstock and that was the card for today if you have any questions just comment down below uh, if you like it, please thumbs it up. It means a lot to me. If you want to see more videos like this, just hit that subscribe button. And here at the end of the video, you have two other cards that I made with some lawn fawn stamps. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!